Hi, it's Madeline again of Sister Luna Psychic Services, and today we're going over the Hanged Man card. And this card couldn't be more fitting for me right now, so I'm really glad that this is the card we are doing, and that's because I recently broke my arm. It was the first bone I've ever fractured or broken, and therefore it was my dominant arm and I couldn't do any of the things I normally would do. Couldn't do yoga, couldn't really do writing, couldn't do painting, any of these things. And I had to not get too upset about that and find other ways to entertain myself and just accept the situation until I healed. I'm still healing. <clears throat> and so that is a version of the hangman just happening in my life at the time of this. Learning the tarot can be a spiritual experience in and of itself. And that's what I hope to bring uh, with these videos. I hope you like them. If you like them, please comment and let me know. Or if you don't like them, comment and let me know about that. Okay, let's get into it now. So the hanged man is definitely has a parallel to the crucifixion. He's on a tree. He is depicting a suffering, a situation that's difficult. And that's a suffering that can force you into presence, that can force you to transcend your situation. Um, again, another great book to look at is Courage by Osho, where he refers to uh, the Bible and the book of John as an example of transcending the legal mind by using the loving mind. So in the book of John, a woman has been caught in adultery and brought to Jesus. And the law, Roman law, states that they should stone her. But of course, Jesus says, don't stone people. So these men bring the woman to him and say, what are we supposed to do now? And Osho says, they thought they had trapped him with no right answer to this question. Follow the law or follow you, you know, which is it going to be? But Jesus was has this halo, you know, Christ anointed one, etc. So he transcended that lateral A or B question and gave an answer that was better than both options. Whomever is without sin among you, let him be the one to cast the first stone. So he has solved the problem by not denying the law and not having the woman be assaulted, but by transcending the problem in a way that really no one expected. That speaks to the highest meaning of the hanged man card. He's inverted, encouraging us to see things from a different perspective. He is seen with a halo depicting him as that Christ-like figure. And of course, the crucifixion-esque positioning of the figure on the card. Besides references to Christ, we can also see Odin in this card very clearly. He willfully chose suffering, which is a little different than Jesus, who certainly accepted suffering with grace, uh, but didn't rush to the cross. Odin left Asgard and hung himself from the tree Yggdrasil, pierced himself with a spear, and hung there for nine days, waiting to be deemed worthy of the knowledge of runes. These two stories are very similar, as you can surely see already. Um, the main difference between them is that Christ was crucified by others, whereas Odin physically did it to himself. Sometimes it's difficult for us to see or admit that we have put ourselves up the tree that we found ourselves in. In some cases, you may not have physically done whatever has landed you in the hanged man position, uh, and the circumstance may appear to have come from outside of you, Either way, this situation is actually a gift. If you deem it to be a curse, then you'll be stuck hanging there. If you accept it and view it as an opportunity to do something completely different, then you will receive untold wisdom and a new path will appear before you that you wouldn't have ever imagined before. A path that's better than both of the previous options. In terms of practical matters when reading this card, ask your querent um, if they feel like they're looking at a dead end. None of the paths that they have planned seem feasible anymore, most likely, and they're probably feeling at a loss for what to do next, hence having sought you out. You'll definitely want to 
probably pull some more cards and give them an idea of what will come after they accept the hangman. Let them know that they can stay hanging on this cross as long as they want, uh, but the option of transcendence will always be there. We continue to invite more suffering until we don't need it anymore. In this card, uh, can manifest as a situation where you first thought you had two choices or plan A and plan B um, and then something happens and you now have neither choice and or both plans are now impossible. We all come to this crossroads eventually, it's just part of our journey, right? How long we linger here is up to us. Are we willing to sacrifice the safety of our plans and embrace the unknown? Transcend. Transcendence is unknown. You can't explain it to someone. You can't prepare for it. And that's why a sacrifice is needed. In the stories and the myths we see, you know, the sacrifice of suffering that Odin gives, the sacrifice of, that God gives of his son. But the sacrifice that you have to make, or that your querent has to make, is the sacrifice of their ego. And that can be maybe more painful than hanging upside down in a tree with a spear in you. But it's worth doing. If you'd like to align further with the energy of the hanged man and um, dig deeper into this archetype, I highly recommend it. And some places I would direct you are the Four Noble Truths of Buddhism, the story of the crucifixion, um, the story of Odin and the runes, or the Tree of Yggdrasil. Uh, Yes, and the book of John, maybe look at that specific story. It's just one example of many of uh, transcending a seemingly dead end situation. And also another great book, not as specific to this card, but definitely worth reading is Courage by Osho. Those are essentially my references for having made this video. Oftentimes when your querent gets the hanged man, all they need is a little bit of encouragement. Once you're looking at a brick wall, at first you think you're trapped, but if someone comes by and says, I think those bricks are sticking out enough that you might be able to climb them, you know, maybe you should just try, then it's pretty easy for them after that to get out of that situation. And that's your job be the one to remind them that they can climb the bricks if they stop just sitting there and whining about the wall. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching this. I'm always happy to make videos for you. Next time we are going to do the death card. I'm really excited about that. It's one of my favorites. So thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned. If you follow my channel, then you won't miss hearing about debt. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be.